B minus? You can do better. He scribbled on the paper. He shook his head. This was the third time in a month that this student had performed like this. It pained him to see his student waste such potential. If only they would study harder. They were lazy. All of them. He continued grading papers. He was writing quickly, in red ink, as teachers tend to do. He used a beautiful fountain pen. A black body with golden trims and a point made of gold with little decorations carved in it. When he was done grading a paper, he noticed the pen was drained of all ink. He looked at his pen in confusion. Had he just refilled it? He sighed and shook his head. Time to refill it then. He got it from his desk in his study. His father was a writer before he died, a successful one, so he never had to worry about money. His job at the local school was more of a hobby. When he walked past his parents' old bedroom, he couldn't help but share. The room had always scared him as a kid, and it still did. As he walked down the stairs into the dark hallway, he noticed how dark it was outside. He thought he could see something walking out there, but quickly brushed it off as his own imagination. He was so lost in thought he forgot where he was headed. Oh, that's right. I was going to go refill my pen, he remembered quickly. He quickly grabbed the keys he needed from the bowl in the hallway and walked out of the house to the enormous backyard. Where it was once beautiful, now it had fallen into disrepair. The man never really cared for gardening. Again, he thought he saw something slipping past a tree, and again, he swiftly blamed his imagination. He quickly unlocked the basement door and went. It was colder inside than one would expect. He walked down the wooden steps into the basement. It was dark and musty. He could hear someone breathing heavily. He flicked on the light switch. In his basement, suspended by some chains, hung a woman, completely naked. All over her body, the scars of a thousand needle pricks could be seen. Good evening, Amanda, the man said cheerfully. It's time to refill my pen.